Hey chickies, what's going on? Don't forget to watch this video all the way through, subscribe, join the Discord, all this good stuff is down in the description. Today we're going to be covering the Banu Merchman from the ISC that we just got, which is really great. A lot of people aren't too happy about it, but I don't care. So the outside of the ship that you can see is further along than the interior. The interior was well said to be in its white box phase, but during this video it does say that it is in its grey box, but the exterior is further along than the than the interior. So they're just like focusing on different parts of the ship. So they have two artists working on the ship. So they chop the ship down into different parts and then they get the artists to work on them and go through what they need to. So they're going through and making sure that everything that needs to fit into the ship will fit into the ship. As we all know, like I said, this is a landmark ship. This is going to be the peak of all ships and it's going to demonstrate that this is where ships are going to have to be and this ship is going to set a new standard for ships. So everything that is is on the ship is pushing the ship away from what we know have previously seen in ships and we'll get to that later so this has dual docking collars the wings no longer fold they now have a new animation to um, that like sort of push to the inside of the inner wing which is a lot better of a design and a little less tacky and a lot more elegant I would say so the exterior is very elegant and is rather detailed in its grey box phase the team is using new art styles they're still working out how they're going to add detail to it so they've admitted that it's an absolutely monstrosity of a ship uh, the new wing animation is more of a slider and the rest of the wing sort of opens up to let the process of the wing f like sort of pushing into the inner wing open up and make it sort of a little bit um, smoother and it sort of adds a cool little animation if you've seen it and you can see it now you know exactly what I mean it sort of just adds that little bit of a I don't know a little bit of elegancy to it and adds that little bit of you know it's an alien tech ship and that it's a Banu ship and it's just so freaking cool and they have admitted since this is in concept everything is bound to change nothing is permanent so in the bridge you have four seats and you more or less have a captain's uh, quarters up the front there so in this the four seats um, you have the pilot seat control you have a good view over the ship and the surroundings outside as you will see later the ship uses a lot of Xeon tech so that seat that you just seen go down is using Xeon tech there's a lot of it in this ship so with the pilot getting up to their control area it makes it a little bit easy so they can have a really good view the control seats in this you have a co-pilot seat and the other seats are just remote turret control seats so you know it's a little bit easier for some Someone to get back there and then actually go and start gunning to the enemies that are attacking you or any sort of emergency situation someone can just jump straight onto that unmanned turret and start assisting you in anything that you will need to uh, you know attack and sort of gain control of a situation but again I don't think there'll be too much of a problem in this ship it has so many points that are covered in this and there's one that a lot of you know about and I didn't even see this until everyone mentioned it which is pretty crazy so as you see here the pilot seat sort of twists up and then you get this sort of overview over the nose of the ship and sort of get an open view through the window there which is really great that's something that we uh, really need I would say because it's just it seems like this ship has so much going on it's just so many different aspects to this ship that you can look at it and you just go wow this Thing is amazing they did say that you know every room in the ship looks massive the whole ship looks massive itself so this whole bridge area is just one massive room it's just insane and a lot of it's sort of open plan it's sort of interconnected so here you're moving down the bridge so down here you're moving to the emergency uh, suit lockers so because the everyone no one's gonna wear their suit on the ship all the time like not gonna always be wearing it they're just gonna be wearing like their sort of their normal clothing so here you have your uh, suit lockers right next to your escape pod so if you need that suit on straight away and you need to get escape that ship you can just bang straight out of there you don't have to sort of mess about it it's just so simple easy in out done so they have them on either side and they have an extra up their back there so you know if they got a little bit um, more crew down the back there it's a little bit more easier and it's just accommodating for all those people I guess and so behind the entrance to the main um, so like behind the bridge there is the main entrance for the manned turret and up here it has a large room so that like 
when you go in there you have a for sort of like a feeling of calm and peace before you get thrown straight into battle it has a rather lonely feeling to the room where all the other rooms are sort of feeling like you know it's family orientated it's supposed to be open there's a lot of people there it's not really feeling as lonely as what you know this room is designed to be i guess so the turret is held in place with the xeon tech aka alien tech there will be an air shield inside the turret room so it will actually be able well someone will be able to throw a grenade down there or even be able to eva into there but they have said it will be quite a silly move or quite impossible to do that because is that turret is so large and that would probably just decimate them within a few seconds so as you can see here the fluid motions are pretty nice this ship is going to be something else and you guys are going to love it so don't be disappointed everything you've seen is bound to change this ship is not final obviously it is still in like a gray box phase so don't be disappointed don't be like that down of what's happening here there's a lot of good stuff going on with this ship this turret is going to be the main defense for the uh, the ship obviously you've got all your point defense weapons as well but this thing is just going to be an absolute massacre it has two m7a's on it which is really cool so moving down from there you move towards the sanctuary so if no one has heard of the sanctuary i would assume that you have the banu are known for being multicultural this is an area for worshipping to pray that you know a battle will go well uh, trade runs will go to plan and there will be no issues but going off to the side is a med bay as well but here is just where you come to pray you come to worship and you hope that everything goes well so i'm really interested to see how this sanctuary turns out because this will be one of the corner pieces of the ship this will be a main room that sort of ties everything together so just keep that in mind so you obviously over to the side going off the bridge behind the bridge you have your main med bed so this is a med area so like a med bay um, here you have your recovery beds off to the side of the main med bed where it has a healing gel after operations they did um, this to push the ship away from what we're used to seeing in ships as stated previously they originally had three beds in here but they changed it out a bit behind the med beds is an office as well so you'll get to see that in a little while once they sort of show you around there there's an area behind the beds where you can go get all your medical supplies and you get your refills on the beds and pretty much anything that you need within that medical area but this medical bay looks really great i'm so glad that they've done this they haven't really mentioned anything about it being a tier one or tier two i wouldn't say that it's a tier one but i could be wrong you never know what they are going to do with this ship so here is your office this is sort of where you're going to be doing your paperwork and all any sort of work and sort of keep in peace with what you're doing this is the storage area that we're talking about this is where you do your refills get your medical supplies and whatnot so just keep that in the back of your mind and just remember that this ship is being worked on still there's nothing is final right now it is in concept they have mentioned this multiple upon multiple times so the whole ship will have a very alien feel to make sense to the human eye but still feel very different and know that it's an of alien origin i mean our minds know that is a door but just watching it go together and sort of come apart is just something else it just makes you feel like it makes you feel kind of weird but yeah like it said it's supposed to feel like it's you know an alien ship but your human eye can see that it's not of human origin so here you have two elevators with these elevators it's quite interesting actually so they go sort of throughout the ship and it sort of saves you time from so this is like your habitation commons area you have a food machine in there so that that food maker that we were talking about you have specified areas to eat you have a social area to talk and plan stuff out for anything that you have going on uh, like trade runs and whatnot so it's you know in these Banu ships as well they have strict metrics for humans but Banu we know is rather larger and taller than humans it's a Banu ship for you know the Banu but they have made it work for all races but at the end of the day it's always going to be for the Banu so we need to keep that in mind and always remember that it's not always going to be based and sort of targeting for humans so off of the habitation area this is a secondary control uh, sort of room for the hangar to allow those who are permitted to enter the ship and then when you open that hangar door obviously they will enter the, the ship at your permission which is really great so in here 
it's nothing like a lot going on really so coming off of the habs as well you have two staff lifts they give you more access besides running around the ship like a lunatic here still like it's amazing animations in there it's crazy to watch that sort of that hangar door open i can't like yeah i can't sort of get over a lot of this so as i said there are two elevators here they are they're there to make it easy for people uh to get to decks that they need to without having to run around the ship and sort of run out of breath and not get there on time if it's an emergency so in here you've got six floors yeah six floors i can't even believe this so to put it into perspective um you know we did go over the cutaway of this in our deep dive but then again we didn't really know the magnitude and the size of this ship we didn't even get to see the brig in this which is sort of you know it's not a big deal but it would have been nice to have seen that and see what it was actually like but then again you know it's not too much of a big deal so coming in here this is sort of where your uh, customers come in or just when general people come in as well so this is also where your delegates come in so the people that you want to discuss very important things with that is your negotiation room there this area that you just seen is like a foyer and this sort of opens up into the meeting area which is important like important for delegates to go and discuss with you and your crew very important trade runs anything that's sort of major and an issue i guess i'm not 100 percent sure what you would go in there for but i have a rough idea what you would use that room for so going off into this room off to the side this is a vip delegates area if they want a little bit more of a fancy and comfortable room this sort of demonstrates all the angles and the curves of this ship and sort of how it's supposed to feel it's just it sort of gives you a, a nice little feeling and sort of where this ship sort of comes together it's nice enjoyable and sort of looks like a peaceful room they come in here wash their hands wash their face do what they need to to get ready for a meeting so in the meeting room there has got um all these chairs around it obviously even on each side so delegates can then communicate with your crew or whoever they need to talk to in that said room so that is going to look like an amazing room it does overlook the cargo area down there as well so when you're in the cargo area it holds and i quote a colossal amount of cargo the volume of cargo really does give you a true sense of scale of this ship um, it's just when you're walking around there even watching them walk around there it's just insane to see how tall and how high it goes we do know that they have the pictures of the sea containers in here as well and they did have quite a uh, Quite an aspect of how high they were and how many they could fit in there so they didn't give us too many rooms to look at but they did give us quite a few things to look at as you can see from this video so this is another elevator that sort of links up different floors it's um it's quite an accessible area with this ship of different areas so here is the market this is a very open area it's one of the most um like one of the best areas probably what the ship will be centered around this will be the first thing customers are going to see upon entering the ship now it goes from a narrow hallway into this room to sort of give it sort of that massive open feeling which it's probably going to be massive and opening like open anyway so it looks to be a turret in there as well so on the roof you would have seen in all the pictures and you'll see right about now that there is sort of a gun um, on the roof whether or not that's going to be controlled by a person or an NPC or that you can blade that. So I guess whenever you have any sort of hostiles that are coming onto the ship, this will definitely set a whole new standard of what's going to be expected of ships. I mean, if you even, you got pirates coming on and they, you know, they're trying to get a hold of your ship, they're trying to take over it. You can then neutralize them or even watch them and possibly try and negotiate with them. But again, you could probably just shoot them and then just be done with it. But it's all about that role play this is the back area uh, this is a different room it's sort of like a guest room this is sort of how the ship is going to feel every room has a different feeling and a different look but this is how everything should look this is unpolished this has like this isn't even optimized it's just rough and it probably took them a very long time to do this but they put this together to sort of demonstrate to us what it's going to feel like what it's going to look like i'm friggin stoked i'm so glad we got this video there's apparently people whinging about this and you know like oh the merchant moon's not that great well look at this thing 
people are just trying to find everything they can to complain about something. It doesn't matter. Be excited for once. Just get on the bandwagon and hype the crap out of this thing. I'm excited. You should be excited. Let me know now, down in the comments what you think of this vessel. And I will leave you with some final footage of the Banu Merchantman. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the verse and at the ship show. Peace.